Alright, the next part of my journey has taken me here to the port of Zyton. There we go, and I'll show you that. I've got 23,000 uh, fame and adventure. I'll show you where that is on the map. And uh, you'll notice that I've uh, discovered a lot of Southeast Asia and China, and Australia and New Zealand as well. If you remember from the last time, I started in the port of Ceylon. Ceylon, or however it is that you say it, right there, in that purple. And then I just started to follow the coast and discover some different ports there in Indonesia, such as uh, there's Pasai and uh, Ternit and um, Amboa and uh, Banda, you know, ports like that. Uh, I also went and discovered uh, some of the ports in Australia and New Zealand as well. See that there? And uh, I'll, point, I'll highlight some of the main ones. Uh, it's very important that you find the port of, I believe it's Geelong. Let me see if I can find that, if that's right. Yep, that port down there at the southern part of Australia. If you head directly east from there, you reach the island of New Zealand. And you're more specifically wanting, looking for a supply port, supply port called... Where is it? Wanganui! Because you can go there, and if you look on that island, there's a chance for another star-level discovery called the Moa. Not to be confused with the Moai, but the Moa. And I'll show you that. Oops. I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, yeah, the Moa. It's a big bird there. There's that. Okay, so that's that's where we are now. Let's see, let's see what part of the text we get. All right, nothing yet. I hope you like this music, viewers. This is very exciting. Ooh, the Royal Academy of Scholars. It's pretty good. He got rich and famous off our own, own hard efforts. Eh. Yeah, we're, we're helping other people out. See, that's a good attitude to have, Ernest. It really is. That's awesome. All right. Let's keep going. Okay, I've now made it to the port of Valparaiso again, and uh, just a reminder, I'll show you where that is. Oops, actually, I can, just, I can just pull up the map and show you where I am. Okay, so what I've done here is I've got, started at the port of Zaiton, like I did in the last part. Uh, by the way, I finished exploring uh, the rest of the islands to the south there, and um, went up and discovered all of Japan, some villages up there, and um, then just started following the coast and made my way all the way down to... Uh, past uh, the western part of the United States there, near California, uh, Alaska up there, and all the way down to South America on the west side, back to Valparaiso. Um, and I'm going to show you I'm up to 24,000 fame and adventure. Now, nothing really exciting is going to happen here because I'm at the supply port, but I just wanted to show you what, uh, where I ended up, and now I'm going to be going through and picking up some gold, and I'll meet you guys back in uh, Europe once I've sold all of my discoveries and my uh, cartography as well. All right, once again, we're back in the gear. Let's check how we're doing. Whoa, 37,000 fame and adventure. That's awesome. Now, I will say I've gotten lucky, and I've gotten four star-level discoveries, but, I mean, you can really get up to about this amount of fame pretty quickly uh, if you just follow the routes that I've been giving you. Now, let's see what the new text is. The new... Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, we know about this already. Okay, sorry. Okay, we can get a better one than that. I know there's a couple others that we can get. Let's see if we can get one of them here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we still haven't found Paula's homeland. We've been to almost every port I can think of. That's all right. We just want to help you find your homeland. That's all. Ooh, we kind of like it if you stayed on with us. Ooh, Paul will get the wrong idea. Uh oh. So, I think we're about to see something here. Time to continue the journey. All right, folks, made it back to Madeira one more time, and now I have 41,000 fame and adventure. How did I get there, you may ask? Okay, what I did, you'll notice that the upper right-hand corner of the map is now all mapped out and looks pretty nice. So what I did was I took the different route. I went up past uh, the port of Bergen there. I'll show you where that is on my map. I, I think we've been there earlier in the game, but I'll show it to you anyways. Uh, where is it? There it is. 
and I just continue to follow the coast up and to the right. You'll see there's a few supply ports and a few rivers up there, and I found some neat discoveries, discoveries that I had actually forgotten about until I started playing this walkthrough again. I found, and look at this, I've already found 10 pages of discoveries. I've, I've almost found all the discoveries that spawn uh, in this quest, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I found the Aurora, which I believe that's the Northern Lights. And then I also found the Stellar Sea Cow, which is up there, which is kind of cool. It's like the whales. And then I also found the Blue Whale. There you go. I'd actually never found uh, the Aurora and Blue Whale until playing through this walkthrough. And then just going up that way and selling my discoveries and the cartography stuff, I've now gotten 41,000 fame and adventure. And now I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for the message that I want to get. There it is. Took the oath. What? Yes, what are you talking about? The marriage... Whoa, hey now. It is embarrassing. You know we are not involved in that way, right? Uh-oh. Is he hiding something? I wonder. Okay. Now, in order for this to happen, uh, when you get your 41,000 fame uh, adventure, in order for the final, uh, the final scene to be triggered... You actually have to go to a port and get a, few, a little more text, and then just go to any other port in Europe. So I'm going to meet you back in Lisbon, just directly northeast of here. Alright folks, we've made it back to Lisbon, and the final scene of the game is about to be triggered, or the final uh, part, or the final scene leading up to the final part of the game. But I'm going to wait, and I'm going to put that in the next video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed these montages as much as I've enjoyed making them. And until the next time when we do all the events to complete Ernst Scenario, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.